The Play Store is full of scam apps. While this may or may not be surprising to you, it's actually quite possible that you have one or maybe several of these apps installed on your device, because these scam apps are actually some of the most popular apps on Google Play. Take a look at this list. Battery saver apps, booster apps, antivirus apps. If you have any of these scam apps installed on your Android device, definitely stay tuned. I want to start out with battery saver apps like Do Battery Saver or Battery Doctor. See, battery saver apps are the modern embodiment of the placebo effect. They somehow convince you that they're legit by showing some fancy animation and claiming to save battery life. However, every time you put these battery saver apps through a scientific test, they completely fail every time. If you have one of these battery saver apps installed on your device, I strongly recommend that you watch my other video where I tested a battery saver app multiple times to see if it really improved battery life at all. That video is linked in the video description below and on the YouTube card in the top right corner. Similar to battery saver apps are booster apps like Do Speed Booster or True Booster. Booster apps are all really alike in that they claim to improve performance in the same way, by shutting down running apps in the background and freeing up RAM. However, the Android operating system already does that. If there are too many running apps in the background, Android will kill some to keep your device running smoothly, and Android manages RAM to make sure the apps start up fast and run smoothly. These booster apps actually hurt your device's performance, because when you go to open an app that was running in the background before a booster app killed it, that app will take longer to open because it was removed from your device's memory. Then there are antivirus apps like CM Security Master or Clean Master. The problem with the antivirus apps is that they just aren't necessary. Even if an antivirus app is functional and does scan your device for malware, which isn't always the case, it's still completely unnecessary. For instance, remember the quad rooter vulnerability from last year that caused many people to go and download antivirus apps? The entire time, Android's built-in Verify Apps feature would have made it impossible to install any quad rooter harboring apps, and you would have had to disable two Android security measures just to make your device vulnerable. And the sad part of this whole story is that an antivirus app wouldn't have made your device any safer than Android's own security measures. So at this point, you're probably asking yourself, why do developers even create these scam apps? The answer in most cases is to make money. Even if the scam applications are free to download, developers can still make money in multiple ways. First, developers can utilize ads to generate money. You'll notice that every single scam app that I mentioned in this video contains ads. Developers can also make money from in-app purchases. With CM Security Master, for instance, you can use real money to purchase useless upgrades from inside the app. So, at the end of the day, when it comes to battery saver apps, booster apps, and antivirus apps, and just utility apps on Google Play in general, if it seems too good to be true, it probably is. Thanks for watching, please subscribe to Arium TV for more awesome tech videos, and I'll catch you guys in the next video.